Howdy, how's it going? So, a uh, quick video about Blinks on Zemu. Uh, I've recently figured out a way for everyone to have full diagonal movement in Blinks, uh, no matter what type of Xbox controller you have. So this means that you don't have to modify your Xbox controller to allow your thumbstick to have more room. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, full diagonal movement is the movement exploit by moving Blinks in a diagonal direction while combining the X and Y axis values to equal either 100% or minus 100%. This allows Blinks to move at a speed increase of 41%. What's my source? Uh, this motherfucker on Discord. So what's the way for everyone to get full diagonal movement? Well, I have two answers for that. So the first answer that I have is the actual keyboard controls themselves. Since the keyboard is an analog and uses digital inputs, this means that full diagonal movement is available from the start. But the thing is, uh, keyboard controls on Zemu are fucking terrible. I don't know who made up the control scheme for keyboard controls, and look, Zemu devs, if you're watching, I love Zemu. I love the work that you've done in the recent year. I fully commend everything that you guys have done, not only for the original Xbox community, but also for the Blinks community. But your keyboard control scheme is absolute dog shit. The fact we can't customize the inputs as well is also just not good enough, and I think a lot of people would love to see a change. Anyway, the second way we can do it does involve the keyboard control once again. And this also involves the use of Steam Big Picture Mode. In Big Picture Mode, you're able to use the controller to control stuff on the desktop. Zemu is also a desktop app and can be controlled with a keyboard, and you can rebind all your controller buttons to a key. So what does this mean? Well, what we can do is, is that we can have the controller mimic the same keyboard keys that we are using for Zemu. And since the keyboard input in Zemu uses digital inputs, this carries over to a controller, which means that any controller can achieve full diagonal movement. And I've also made a downloadable profile online that anyone can download and load onto their PC. So then they don't have to go through the pain of rebinding all the keys to, to the controller. So that's really cool, but because it's a controller using digital inputs, this means that it's really really difficult to make minor movement adjustments with blinks. So it is also impossible to walk with blinks as well. Digital inputs can only output a 0 or a 1 in terms of values, but I believe the pros outweigh the cons. Making full diagonal movement more accessible to the uh, Zemu player base is a big W in my books. And for anyone that doesn't want to use the thumbsticks, I've also made it so that the D-pad can also move blinks. So here's how you can set up the config in big picture mode. Or if you want, you can click the link in the description and it should take you to big picture mode where you can automatically apply it. Well, that's it for this short video. And I uh, just wanted to get this out as quickly as I could because it's a, it's a nice discovery. I hope you guys can get this working on Zomu and have some fun with this. And, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll find a way to get full diagonal movement more accessible for console. And uh, I wish you guys good luck, and I'll see you on the next one.